than four, but threatening. Jay Rogers to Versi Gaddis. A 34-yard completion. Great catch by Gaddis. They're rolling five plays later. Rogers scores from two out. They're not supposed to do this against this defense, but they did. 10-7 Hoosiers. Bill Marley hoping his Hoosiers would hold on. Hold Ohio State on third and goal. Pepe Pearson stuffed by Matt Surface. Buckeyes had to settle for a field goal. We're tied. Fourth quarter, same score. Jay Rogers stripped by Andy Katzenmoyer. Matt Finkus with a big play, picking the ball off Katzenmoyer's back, and he is gone. 45 yards. Finkus said it was laying there, and I ran as hard as I could. It just was laying there on his back. What a play. And John Cooper, Mallory would shake hands on the field. Ohio State wins it 27-17 on Finkus. Down seven, a second left. Mike Bobo. Bringing the dogs back from 21 down. We are tied at 28 thanks to that catch by Corey Allen. One OT, not enough. We're on to the second overtime now. Second and goal. Robert Edwards takes it in. Georgia up seven. Auburn would answer. First and goal. Fred Beasley, three-yard score. We're tied. Third overtime now. First and goal. Craig diving before he loses the ball. Auburn up seven. And then Georgia answered. Edwards again, this time from nine out. We're tied at 49. A fourth overtime, second and goal. Turin curtsy from a yard out. Georgia up seven. Can Auburn answer again? Fourth and three yet. Craig, a QB keeper. Not even close. It's finally over. Bulldogs ecstatic after four overtimes. Check this out. The Gatorade bucket. It ends up on John England's head. He missed the coach. Who cares? Georgia wins. Wow. Hundred. Who holds had no mercy on Johnny Majors. They had about that much of an army against him, but it only took one guy on three different plays in the second quarter. Allen Rossum on this one. Already leading 19 to nothing. Untouched, he goes 55 yards. Seven minutes later, Pitt was, of course, punting again. Something he got used to all afternoon. That was a Rossum. Eight. Offense, Syracuse's second drive, though, second and seven play action. Donovan McNabb over the middle to McIntosh. McNabb not fooled by this defense, ranked fourth in the nation. Syracuse would make it 7-zip. It was 14-7 orange on the option. McNabb, the pitch out to Malcolm Thomas. One of two TDs for Thomas. Cues up 21-7 at the half. It was 21-10, third and 10 in the third. McNabb, rolling left, pump fake, goes the other way. Wide open, Roland Williams for the score. This was easy. The first loss, though, of the season for the Black Knights after nine straight wins. The orange set us. Talk about Peyton Manning. He said he felt klutzy. He had a bad knee. Pick it up in the third quarter. It's a 14-all game. Tennessee getting shocked by Arkansas. And then Terry Fair. It just isn't fair. He's in fair territory all the way. 86 yards on the punt return, and that got the balls going. Still in the third quarter, same score, and Manning found his touch. The pass to Joey Kent. Kent had eight catches for 90 yards. He scored twice. Manning got rolling 20 to 41 for 282 yards, and the Vols blow out the Razorbacks. 55 to 14. Woe is me. They got waylaid. The balls are 5 and 1 in the SEC, Arkansas, but especially Carolina. They're up 17 to 3. And a third and goal, the big mistake. Chris Keldorf picked off by Antoine Harris. 95 yards the other way, but it is still a 17 10 Carolina lead. Same score, fourth down. Three minutes left in the game. Tim Sherman on the option. Chooses himself. Seven yards scored. It's the 17 all game. Under a minute to play, 39 seconds left. Rafael Garcia kicks the winner. Virginia comes from way back, scores the last 10 points in the game, and wins it 20 to 17. Carolina still now has not won in Charlotte's Orange Bowl for the very first time. Late third quarter, tied at seven. Hokies and Canes at 13. Michael Stewie with a diving reception from Jim Drunken Miller. Tech goes up 14 to seven. It's the 13 TD pass of the year for Drunken Miller. Ryan Clement tries to answer. In the fourth quarter, the drop would kill him. At the two, Scott Covington's pass falls down, and then Covington is picked off at the goal line on fourth and five. Keon Carpenter. This looks familiar. Virginia did it. Virginia Tech goes him five yards better, 100 yards the other way, and that's what it took to finally end the spell that has hexed them in the Orange Bowl. It's only Tech's first win. In Corey Dillon won bid against San Jose State. Watch him through the fog. Watch him through the raindrops. 
Going 78 yards for one of his four touchdowns in the first quarter, he finished with 213 all-purpose yards all in one quarter. Obviously, Washington won this game. Dylan, no longer the best tailback you never heard of. Rams, Calvin Branch rallying the Rams from a 13-zip halftime deficit to Branch finding the hole. 21-yard touchdown. Branch with three TDs in the third quarter, 22 for the year. Rams had the lead. Record-setting day for Marcus Harris, the Wyoming wide receiver. He would set on this play the NCAA record for career receiving yards, 4,400 yards after this day. Breaking the record held by a former mate, Ryan Yarborough. Controversial play, though, in the fourth quarter coming up. Josh Walworth going to Brahms Dorena Court. Takes the hard hit. Looks like he dropped the ball right, but it's ruled a completion. Cowboys ball on the one would score, and that would cut the deficit to 24-19. Under two minutes left, Marcus Brigham up the middle, six-yard score. Cowboys would rally to win it by one. And after this one, everyone talking about Marcus Harris. Cowboys coach... Top pass defense. K-State visiting Colorado, but it was on the ground where the Buffs did their big damage. Early in the game, Herschel Trotman gets 27 of his 112 yards. Detmer also scored in a sneak, and... He and Luke Tepper also same situation. Robert Holcomb, that's the guy you need to know. He stole the show, running it. 15-yard touchdown. We're tied in the second at seven. Fourth quarter, Minnesota up by 10. Third and four. Holcomb finding the corner, finding the end zone, cutting the Minnesota lead to three. Then Holcomb getting the hand, cutting up the middle, untouched. Caps off a 315-yard game, and there you see the final score. And it's coming to in Ann Arbor, and this is Scott Dreisbach hitting Aaron Shea. And look at the nice fingertip grab by Shea. Penn State, though, takes a 13-10 lead to the locker room. Michigan wants to punt, can't, though. David Macklin blocks it. Ahmad Collins scores the touchdown. Penn State on top, 22-17 after that. And it's a tough run for Dreisbach. Picked off by Sean Lee here. Next possession, Dreisbach trying to get the first down. Fumbles the football, and Penn State recovers. Then Dreisbach again intercepted, this time by Kim Herring, who picks off two of the four passes Penn State get, and it takes one play for Curtis Enos to hit pay dirt. 41 yards, he runs for 114 in the game, and Penn State breaks open a close one late. 29-17, the Nittany Lions. In Gator country. Danny Warfel back to pass. He hits Jacquez Green. The little fake leads to something big. Nifty moves, and he's history. It's a 56-yard touchdown to put Florida up 14-6. To the second quarter, Warfel hits Redell Anthony in perfect stride. This a 52-yard touchdown connection, 21-6. Meanwhile, Fred Taylor, big, big day for him. Picks up 27 yards here and the score. Three TDs on the day for him. Count 71 victories at Florida for Steve Spurrier. It's a 52-22 final. Fred Taylor rushes for 139 yards and three touchdowns. For the second straight week, the Gators hurt themselves with penalties. 14 for 144 yards today, but still will meet Florida State November 30th undefeated. The Gators have next week off. Speaking of third-ranked FSU, they played host to Southern Miss. FSU up 14-7. Lee Roberts fades it to Sherrod Gideon. Was that prancing? We are not at 14. 21-14. Southern Miss deep into their own end after intercepting Thad Busby, and that would be a safety to make it 23-14 for FSU. Now it's Warwick Dunn time. Takes the pitch. Looks to be stopped at the corner. Uh-uh. Cuts back. Steps over the guy, he's in the end zone. Then, Thusby fakes to Dunn, shakes and bakes, because it is Dunn that gets it on the screen pass. He breaks it. This is a 77-yard sprint to the end zone and a new FSU touchdown record. Career number 47 for Dunn, and the Seminoles win it 40-54, rather, to 14. Three touchdowns giving him Derek Tate. Rolls. Lamont Woodbury leaps and makes the great catch. It's 14-7 Mississippi State. Now, just before the half, Sean Alexander takes the handoff over the left side, breaks tackles, 11 yards in the end zone. The point after would be missed, and that would loom large. 16-14 Bama in the fourth. Reginald Kelly. He looks like he could go all the way. Not quite. But it did cover 70 yards to set up Brian Hazelwood's 39-yard go-ahead field goal. 17-16 Bulldogs. Then with 38 seconds left, Freddie Kitchens incomplete. And that seals the deal. Can you believe it? Mississippi State wins it 17-16. Mississippi.